the formidable robot. The total solar eclipse of April 8, 2024 would be an interesting sight for the people in North America to see, right? Well, what if I told you there was a lost episode of SpongeBob SquarePants that was about an eclipse? It was called, The Solar Eclipse. The episode had a title card that depicted a total solar eclipse, with text reading, The Solar Eclipse. The episode itself begins in in the bustling underwater town of Bikini Bottom, the Krusty Krab stood proudly as the heart of the community. Inside, SpongeBob flipped patties with his usual enthusiasm, humming along to the sizzle of the grill. It seemed like just another day in the life of the fry cook, until he noticed something peculiar. For some reason, the Krusty Krab started looking like it was getting darker outside, right? Well, while Squidward Tentacles was running straight to SpongeBob, he said, SpongeBob, you need to go outside, it's getting dark! SpongeBob in response called out, that's what I've been wondering, Squidward. As he wiped his hands on his apron, he asked Squidward. Why is it getting so dark outside? Squidward tentacles, perched lazily behind the cash register, glanced out the window with a bored expression. Oh, that's just a solar eclipse, SpongeBob. Nothing to worry about. But Squidward's nonchalance did little to ease SpongeBob's curiosity. He had never witnessed a solar eclipse before, and the idea intrigued him. As the darkness outside deepened, SpongeBob's excitement grew. I'm gonna go outside and watch it! He shouted. However, Squidward's warning proved to be more than just a casual remark. As the eclipse reached its peak, a strange energy seemed to wash over Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob watched in astonishment as his friends and neighbors began to act erratically. Wait a minute, why is everyone acting like this? He asked. Everyone went crazy so much. I'll tell you some examples. Patrick Star marched into the Krusty Krab wearing a saucepan on his head, shouting about the end of the world. Sandy Cheeks swung from tree to tree, convinced she was a superhero on a mission to save the town. Even Mr. Krabs, usually obsessed with money, started giving away free Krabby Pappies to anyone who walked through the door. SpongeBob's once orderly world descended into chaos. Tables were overturned, customers danced on the countertops, and the entire town seemed to have lost its collective mind. Amidst the madness, SpongeBob remained remarkably calm. He observed the chaos with a mixture of confusion and concern, wondering what had caused his friends to act so strangely. As the solar eclipse reached totality, the darkness deepened, casting a surreal glow over Bikini Bottom. It was then that SpongeBob noticed a shift in the air. The tension peaked, and the residents of Bikini Bottom seemed to reach a collective breaking point. As everyone had gone crazy enough, everyone had pitch black eyes, distorted facial features, voices echoing and reverberating through the darkening skies, etc. But just as suddenly as it had begun, the eclipse started to wane. The sun emerged from behind the moon, casting its warm light once again over the town. As if by magic, the chaos subsided, and Bikini Bottom returned to its usual state of relative normalcy. SpongeBob let out a sigh of relief, grateful that the strange events of the day were finally over. At least it's over now, but I'm still baffled as to why everyone got so distorted, he said. But as he reflected on the bizarre experience, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to the solar eclipse than met the eye. With a shrug, SpongeBob returned to his duties at the Krusty Krab, knowing that no matter what strange adventures awaited him in the future, he could always count on the familiar comforts of home. The episode itself only aired one time on Nickelodeon during the eclipse of August of 2017, but many people were traumatized and afraid of the episode.